Hi, in this video I'll show you how to configure RIP routing protocol on Cisco routers. Uh, at the moment I haven't configured any routing protocol on these routers apart from just assigning IP addresses to the interfaces so on. Let's go to R1 and check the uh, existing configuration. We can see IP addresses assigned on three interfaces here. This loopback uh, IP is just to simulate a directly connected network on router R1 172.16.1.0 as we can see there is no routing protocol configured and let's check the existing uh, routing table R1 knows only about three directly connected networks um, let's go to R2 and check the same things In R2 also this loopback interface is configured to simulate a directly connected network. R2 knows only about the directly connected networks. And R2 doesn't have any routing protocol configured. Let's go to R3. Okay, on this basic uh, uh, stage, let's try to configure, uh, let's try to ping from R1 the connected routes uh, on R3 and R2. We won't be able to ping this because R1 doesn't have a routing uh, entry uh, to reach 172.16.3 network here. Similarly, R1 cannot ping the network connected to R2. Now let's configure RIP on R1. Router RIP. Now we've got two versions here, version 1 and 2. But let's go with version 1 in this stage. We can type in version 1 here or leave it in by default it's version 1. And next is to con type network command network because R1 has all these three networks in the same major class B network 172.16 so we can type 172.16.0.0 we don't need to individually type these networks and that's configuration done on R1 let's go to R2 Uh, R2 also have the same 16 network on both interfaces but let's see what happens if we specify the uh, uh, complete network, uh, two individual networks 4.0 and 2.0 so now we have specified two individual networks but router, uh, sorry the RIP version 1 doesn't know about the subnet mask so it will consider them both as a one once we 16 network so if we go to uh, so IP protocols it's sending updates for only one uh, uh, network once we 0 .0. this one here tells it's running version 1 rip, rip version 1 and it's receiving both version 1 and version 2 and they have uh, other timer information also uh, 30 seconds is every 30 seconds it's sending the routing updates invalid one timer is 180 hold down timer is again 180 flush timer is 240 and that gateway this refers to uh, R2 is now learning uh, getting RIP information from this router 172.16.4.1 which is here because we have already configured R1 and it, they have started communicating to each other so if we do now so IP route we should see a route learn via RIP R refers to RIP 
So now R2 is learning two networks, dot five and dot one from R1, which is um, dot one from here and dot five, these two networks. So that's uh, pretty good. R1 is also must be learning about uh, the network connected to R2. So if we go here, R1 has learned now dot two network, which is this network via R2, via R2 and this 120 is the administrative distance and one is the metric metric is one hop count here one so r1 knows to reach this network um, from r1 to reach via r2 via r2 and one hop away which is from r1 one hop away now at the moment r1 and r2 they both don't know about dot three network here so we go and configure r3 Now after we configure R3, we can see it has learned about dot .4 network via router R1, which is this network via R1. It has learned dot .1 network, which is this network. And it has also learned dot .2 network, and which is uh, again via R1, but notice this 2 here. So that 2 implies this network is 2 hop away from R3. So from R3, 1 hop and 2 hop. Now we go to R1 and we should be able to see dot 3 network, which is here. So yeah, R1 also knows about dot 3 network via R3. Okay. So at this stage we would be able to ping um, dot two as well as dot three. So this is um, all good now. Um, what other thing we can check here is uh, just to see um, routing configuration portion. There's a useful command. You can type so run and then filter it with um, section router. This will filter the running configuration only uh, shows the routing protocol configuration so it's rip and this is the network um, it's advertising other command is um, so ip rip database this is like a so ip route but only uh, showing the routing information about uh, what is contained in the rip process rip database so it has directly connected network this one two and three this network and it, it is learning about uh, dot two network via router r2 and dot three network via router r3 i hope you like this video and thank you for watching